Charleston County School Board has selected and proposed a budget for next school year that includes teacher raises and even cuts some expenses. Melissa Rademacher downtown at District Headquarters, 75 Calhoun. Melissa, this vote has been a long time coming. Exactly. The board actually delayed this vote into the summer. It's something that the Finance Committee and the staff have been looking at for months at least, though. And now, finally, after a lot of discussion and debate, and even that delay, the board has chosen a proposed budget. Now, the proposed budget has a tax increase of 8.3 mils, meaning there will be a proportionate raise on business properties to help fund district expenses. The budget does include a $5,000 raise for all teachers and step increases. So teachers continue to get raises up to 40 years. It will also eliminate about 30 district administration level jobs that have been vacant for a while. This version does not eliminate any jobs that would require layoffs, like some of the earlier options that staff actually recommended. The proposed budget isn't the same one the Finance Committee or the staff originally proposed, but Interim Superintendent Don Kennedy says it's been about a six week delay in this vote, so he's happy to have a path forward. Just to balance the budget, to make the numbers work. This has been one of the easiest budgets I've ever done, just to make the budget work. But again, the complexity of a new group of people coming together, not understanding all the uh, intricacies of uh, pulling the, the budget together, that piece was, uh, was you know, drew it out. You know, we're all human, um, so that's a level of frustration for me, for the finance team here in the district. Today's special called board meeting had three board members present in person, the rest participating online or by phone. That vote ended up being eight to one for the budget. Board member Ed Kelly being the only one voting against, saying he couldn't support a budget that had any tax increase at all. In Charleston, Melissa Rademacher, Live 5 News.